Hi, Bill. In this lesson, I'll be showing you about the service operations workspace. So what you see here is uh, Beth Anglin is logged in at this moment, who is um, an agent. And uh, right now, um, uh, he'll, she's be able to see the incidents assigned to her um, or high level views of um, any any task that needs to be um, attended. And uh, as you can see here, any um, urgent ones uh, that are in progress that she could basically um, drill down into. So what I should drill down, I could see she could basically navigate from the home tab that we came from and um, go to the page that we actually uh, drilled in. So while waiting for this to load, you will also um, see on the right, the latest announcements, right? Being able to uh, view it um, um, in another uh, view. So what's upcoming and so on. So it's pretty much uh, a very powerful tool that came out the workspace. So the service now technology is redirecting or directing to this roadmap of improving the service operations workspace. So as I um, uh, go down um, to the detail, Right, so on this um incident ticket that has been raised, right on the right you will see um integrations right to other ITSM um uh, processes right and as you uh drill down the triple dot right so you will also have other capabilities available here so this fully fully um, um configurable um accordingly so um. As you scroll down, you could also open and close um, the drop down, right? So easily you could uh, view uh, multiple activities at the same time. So um, compared to the UI 16, so this is the latest view, right? And um, you could also write activities, post or work notes if needed be, right? And as you go to the right, you could also um, navigate, right? Um, using agent assist and um, by using agent assist, right? It provides recommended actions, right, um, related to this ticket. And you could also do a search and filter out accordingly, right, um, um, providing you this um, feature set that you could um, open an incident, right, and also um, get um, other tickets, which is related um, to this, um, to this um, ticket, uh, which is open right now. And of course, uh, the related data, uh, you could, um, open that any affected the configuration items, right? If needed be. So while you are triaging, uh, probably as an agent, uh, Beth is an agent while she is triaging the incident, right? So she could basically add a configuration item, right? Or create a child incident if needed be. And also if it is a um, um, an incident that's supposed to be a request, so you could basically um, create a, uh, a request ticket out of it. Right, so moving to, to the context menu of the list, so um, what you'll see here are the um, out-of-the-box uh, features ready. So uh, you can create a problem ticket, right, and a request from here. So um, if I, like, open a problem ticket, right, so all open items, I could create a new one uh, or open a problem ticket, right? So so this is the um, agent operations workspace. So. I uh, hope you basically um, enjoyed this demo and I I encourage you to explore and and open the um, agent operations workspace. Make sure the um, IT service management is installed and log in as, um, as an ITIL persona. So right now, Beth Anglin is um, have ITIL role in, in, in this um, scenario on this instance. So you could basically explore and also experience this um, demo that I have just um, demonstrated. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on my next video.